Welcome to Unit 11, everyone. Make sure you are finger spelling the words as you see them on the screen and make sure you're signing the signs with me. Our first sign is eat or food. Eat. Eat. Our next sign is vegetables. There are two signs for the sign for vegetable. There is vegetable, again, vegetable, or fingerspell the first three letters, V-E-G. Again, V-E-G. Our next sign is soup. And the sign is soup. Soup. Now the sign for chicken is chicken, chicken. Turkey, the sign for turkey. There are two signs for the sign for turkey. The first one is a G hand at your chin, again. And the next one looks like a turkey, so it's an I hand against a five hand, turkey. Now the sign for potato or potatoes is potato, potato. Salad, the sign for salad is salad. Again, salad. The sign for ice cream is like you're eating an ice cream cone and it's ice cream, ice cream. Make sure you're doing these with me. Now the sign for bread is like you're slicing bread. Again, bread. The sign for cheese is cheese. Cheese. Now the sign for eggs is like cracking an egg. Eggs. Eggs. Meat, the sign for meat or steak is meat. Meat. Butter, the sign for butter is like you're buttering a piece of bread. Butter. Butter. Sugar or sweet, works for both, is sugar. Again, sugar. Cereal, cereal. There's two ways to sign cereal. The first way is cereal. Let's do that one again, cereal, or you can do that on your chin. Now the sign for spaghetti are two eye hands going out like this, spaghetti, spaghetti. Now salt, sign for salt, two V hands like you're tapping the salt, salt. Now pepper, the sign for pepper is pepper with an F hand, pepper. Now the sign for water, as in a cup of water, is water, water. The sign for milk is milk, again milk. Now soda, the sign for soda is soda soda, like you're popping open a can. Juice, the sign for juice. This is all kinds of juices. We have juice. Juice. Store, as in any kind of store. This is a sign we've done in the past. Store. Store. Now the sign for shopping is shopping. Again, shopping. Now after you're done shopping and you decide to buy something, the sign for buy, as in to purchase. Buy. Now the sign for the cost or value of something, how much something is worth, is value. Again, value. Now if you want to know the exact price, 
It's like you have you have a price gun and it's price. Price. If something is expensive, the sign for expensive is expensive. Like you're taking a whole lot of money out of your hand and throwing it on the table. Again, expensive. Now, if something's cheap or inexpensive, it's cheap. Cheap. Total, like as in the total cost of something is total, as in you're adding it all together. The total or sum. Dollar, the sign for dollar. There are actually two signs for the sign for dollar. There's dollar, again, dollar, or dollar. Not much of a difference. Dollar. The sign for money, money in general, is money. Again, money. Now the sign for can't is can't. Can't. Now the sign for won't or refusing to do something is an A hand, won't. Won't. Now the sign for increase, increase is increase, like you're putting more on top. Increase. The sign for decrease is just the opposite. So let's do it. Decrease. Again, decrease. The sign for easy, something's very easy, is easy. Easy. Now if something is hard or difficult, it is hard. Hard. Now the, the sign for think of, like you thought of something, is think of. So you just point to your head. Think of. Now the verb to think is a little bit different. You just tap. Think. To think. Now the sign to think about or wonder. There are actually two signs. The first one is think about. Think about. Or the other way is just using two hands. Think about it. It's really thinking about something or wondering. Now the sign for running out, as in something solid, like potatoes or toilet paper, is run out. Again, run out. Now the other way of running out is liquid, and it's like depleting. So if you're running out of milk, it's run out. Or gas, run out. Now we have the sign for sound or hear is just tapping your ear. Here. Now a hearing person, we know this from the first week, is hearing. This is a label for a hearing person. Hearing. The sign for cabinets is cabinets. Like you're opening up a cabinet. Cabinet. The sign for speech or lecture is speech. Speech. Now the sign for earth. Earth. Is earth. So you're wiggling your S hand just a little bit. Earth. Now if you're going to have an earthquake like we have in San Diego, it's earth quake. You're going to add those two signs. So earth quake. Now another natural disaster are tornadoes. So a tornado, there are two signs for tornado. The first one is tornado. Again, tornado. Or this one's a little more complicated is tornado. Tornado. Now the sign to make something, to physically make something is make. Make. First, the sign for first. There's actually two signs for the sign for first. The first one is first. 
first. And the second one is first, where you just tap your thumb. First. The sign for cup, we've learned this before, is cup. Again, cup. Now the sign for shocked or really surprised is shocked. So it goes quick, S to C and then back to S. Shocked. Now we have awful or to hate something is flicking. Awful. Awful. Now the sign for home is home. Again, home. Now we have the sign for windy is windy. Again, windy. Party, the sign for party is two pea hands shaking back and forth. Party. Party. Now the sign for none is none. Two zeros. None. And we have the sign for canceled. There are two signs for the sign canceled. There's canceled, like you're putting a big X, canceled, or canceled, like you dropped a class. It's been canceled. That was the end of Unit 11. Congratulations. Make sure you're practicing every day, and we'll see you in class very soon.